Hello, James Graney here from internetbizuni.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you should set up your Amazon product listing correctly because there are a number of different mistakes that a lot of new sellers make when setting up their Amazon product listing and some of these mistakes are hard to rectify as you go forward. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up your Amazon listing correctly. And as well as this, I'm going to give you a more advanced tip at the end of this video, just to show you how you can get more traffic onto your Amazon listing and improve the conversion rate of your Amazon listing. So I'm gonna jump over to my computer and give you this in more detail so that I can actually show you what I'm talking about rather than simply just explaining it to you over camera here. Okay, so a lot of the questions that I received uh, last week were in regards to the case study that I put together showing uh, Kitty Rama as a brand. Kitty Rama is a brand that I have simply worked with the owners once, just helping them find out what they needed to know about expanding to the US. I don't work with this brand full time, but I decided to use it as a case study to show how they can make a full-time income from selling one product. And that is mainly due to getting good social proof about their product and being featured in magazines such as Vogue. But again, I'm not going to go into detail on this because I've already shot a video showing this case study and I will link it up below this video so that you can check it out after this video. But a lot of the questions that I received war in regards to the way they have their product listing set up and here we are on amazon and as you can see when we type in a uh, kitty rama or any brand name into amazon you will get a list of the brand's products as well as some other products from other brands that have their brand name listed in their keywords so the first thing that people noticed was that there was other brands that had kitty rama put in their keywords such as these brands here and that's why they are showing up when you type in Kitty Rama into Amazon and the way that Kitty Rama or any other brand that this happens to on Amazon can get rid of this brand from using their keywords is to send them a message and to send Amazon a message letting Amazon know that they are infringing on their trademark so if you have a brand you should have got a legal trademark which protects your brand name. Once you have your brand name protected with a trademark, then no one else can use this brand name. Whereas it's obvious that this brand here and here are using the Kitty Rama brand name in their listing or in their listing keywords because they are showing up for it. This is infringing on the trademark and Amazon will suspend these listings if you provide them with a trademark showing you that you are the trademark owner and that they are infringing on your trademark by simply sending them a screenshot showing them that they are coming up for your trademarked keyword and Amazon will suspend their listing until this issue is resolved. So usually what happens is you as the trademark owner will send Amazon another message letting them know that they have now resolved this issue and they have took the, your keywords out of their product listing. So they will usually contact you stating that they have removed their keywords from their product listing and they will now not show up for Kitty Rama or for your brand name. So that was the first question that I received. The second question that I received was why do Kitty Rama have so many different product listings for one product? And this is a mistake. Some sellers like to do this because they get multiple product listings for the one product, but they should have set this product listing up as different variations. Because as you can see, it's the exact same product, but it just comes in different colors. Whereas when we click into it, it only shows the one color for each listing where this is a mistake and as a brand owner you should show all of your colors inside your product listing as a variation so that when someone lands on your listing they will be able to click on a drop down menu here and choose either red blue pink yellow whatever colors you sell your products in but for whatever reason kitty rama didn't do this 
But if you are setting up your product listing, you should set it up this way as it is much better and will massively improve your conversion rate. Because think about it, a customer is going to land on your product listing. They're obviously interested in a cat collar, but it doesn't mean that they are going to be interested in a blue cat collar. They may want a red one. If they don't see a red one here, they're going to bounce back onto Amazon search and just search through for a red one. Whereas if you have a drop down menu here and they can choose a red one, then they will go ahead and just purchase your red one. So that's the first reason why you should. The second reason why you should is because your customer reviews would all go on the one product listing. So you would have much more product reviews on your product listing than having them all split up. Because as you can see here, when I click back, they're all split up. So they all have different uh, review rates whereas if they were all on the one then your one product listing will be much more powerful than all of these split up and this would improve your sales a lot in the long run as you will get to 100 reviews much quicker when you have all of your reviews going on to one listing rather than split up between these different listings and the third reason is that your product listing will rank much higher organically in amazon search if all of the sales are being made on one product listing, rather than all of these product listings will be split out amongst the different pages on Amazon search. Whereas if you have them all being sold through one listing, your product listing will have a lot higher chance of moving up higher in page one of Amazon, which will get you a lot more sales organically in the long run so well done to the few people who noticed that when they watched the case study again i will link up the case study below so that you can check it out if you haven't seen it already but yeah well done for those who noticed it and you know questioned me on it saying why have they their listing set up this way you know i just wanted to make it clear i didn't set up their listing i simply worked with them once just in regards to getting set up in the us because they're expanding from the uk so it was nothing to do with their product listing but it was a good spot by you and this would be a mistake and this is something that you should change if your listing is already set up you can still add variations to it so if you have your listing set up this way then you can add all of your listings together so that they do show up as a variation under one of your parent listings but that's all i'm going to cover on that that's the way your listing should be set up but now i'm going to scroll down and just show you a more advanced tip so after you have been selling on amazon for a while you will start to receive questions down here so as you can see this is I'm just going to scroll this screen over so you can see it this is where customers can ask questions in this section and this is a great place to get in more keywords about your product in more locations on your listings as well as provide more valuable information about your product so if you have your listing variation set up here then a good question to get asked on your product listing is what other colors do you sell this product in so then once this question is asked you can answer this as a brand and again you can have someone ask you this question about your product and then you can simply submit an answer as your brand letting them know exactly what other colors you sell this in because sometimes customers that land on your page won't see the drop down menu or won't know that you sell it in other colors and they'll just be scrolling down to read reviews and then they'll see the questions here and they'll see it in this section that you also sell them in these other colors and this again will improve their chances of making a purchase on your product and you know if you're just starting out then you might say this is insignificant there's only you know 50 60 people landing on my product listing page every day but once you grow your listing page once you get more reviews once you move higher up in amazon search there will be thousands of people landing on your page each day and if you can get an extra half a percent of these people to make a purchase that's a massive difference you know you're talking about making an extra five or ten sales a day by just improving small things on your product listing so that's why it is more of an advanced strategy to get questions asked that you can give good answers to and get in more keywords around your product as well as promoting your other products and your other variations of your products in this section 
And just while we're down here, I don't know if it's something that they do, but you can also respond to every review that's left on your product listing by simply clicking the comment button, or if you're the brand owner, you will simply be able to respond to the review. And a good way to respond to the review is by thanking them for taking the time to leave a review because especially if they have left a good review of your product then they are a big fan of the products you sell and by thanking them they are more likely to become a fan of your brand and purchase more products in the future and as well as this other customers that come down and read through your reviews will see that you are a brand owner who actually cares about your customer and again this will improve their chances of making a purchase even ever so slightly off your product but when you have thousands of people come and viewing your product page every day this will make a massive difference in the long run okay so i hope that you have learned how to set up your variations and your listings uh, correctly in the correct way because this is a question that i often get asked and i got asked even more last week after i put together the case study they were asking why is the listing set up this way and how would you uh, set up your product listings and this is how i put all the variations onto one product listing and then i hope that you have also learned from the advance uh, strategies that I showed you at the end which is to get questions asked about your product questions that will allow you to give a good answer about your product and get more information to your customers so that they are more likely to make a purchase of your product when they land on your product listing on Amazon answering your questions is something that I wanted to do a lot more of and that's why I decided to shoot this video because these are the type of questions that I receive and being able to shoot a video and let you know you know how i would answer these a lot more of you can see it whereas if i'm just responding one-on-one -on -one to your questions then a lot of people won't get to see these it'll only be uh, one person that'll get to see the response so this is a goal that i have made is to answer a lot more of the questions that i receive in a lot more depth like i did in this video so as always if you have any questions then please leave them down in the comments below this video and I will definitely answer it. I will answer it either in the comments if it's a simple answer to answer or if it takes me to go into more depth in it, then I will shoot a video like this and just put it up on YouTube so that you can see my answer to it and it will help you and a lot more people when you see this answer. But that's it, I'm working on upgrading the advanced private label course all of this week. You know, I'm putting in a lot of new sections. I'm changing around an awful lot than the way I done it before. There has been a lot of changes on Amazon and I want to make sure that the advanced private label course shows exactly what you should be doing if you already have a brand of products on Amazon and you want to improve your sales and improve your profit on these sales. So I will be opening this again in the future. If you click on the link for the advanced private label course down in the description below, you can leave your email address and I will send you an email as soon as I reopen the advanced private label course. And as well as this, the unique private label course is also currently closed and I will be updating this as soon as I have the advanced private label course. Uh, fully updated and when I reopen this I can send you an email letting you know that the unique private label course is reopened again if you leave your email address down in the link where it says unique private label course if that's something that you're interested in so I hope that you found this video helpful and I look forward to speaking to you on the next one bye